The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many quaint and curious of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this, and nothing more. Ah, I distinctly remember, it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished to borrow, vainly I sought to borrow, from my books the cease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore, nameless here, forevermore and the silken sad uncertain rustle of each purple curtain thrilled me filled me with fantastic terrors that never felt before so that now to still the beating of my heart I stood repeating to some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door this it is and nothing more Presently my soul grew stronger, hesitating them no longer. Sir, said I, or madam, truly your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door, that I scarce was sure I heard you. Here I opened the wide the door, darkness there, and nothing more. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood wandering, fearing, doubting, dreaming, dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there was spoken was whispered the word, Lenore. This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word, Lenore. Merely this, and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning. Soon again I heard a tapping somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window lattice. Let me see then what there at is, what there is at my, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore. Tis the wind, and nothing more. Open the ear and I flung the shutter, when with many a flirt and flutter, in stepped a stately raven of the saintly dates of yore. Not the least obedience made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he, but the maiden lord of lady perched above my chamber door, perched upon the pust of palace just above my chamber door, perched and sat, and nothing more. Then this abundant bird, beguiling my sad fancy into smiling, by the grave stern decorum of the curses it wore, through thy crest be sure that shaven thou, I said, aren't I sure no craven, ghastly grim the ancient raven wandering from the nightly shore, tell me, what is thy lordly name on the night plutonium shore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Much I marvel this unclainy fowl to hear their decor so plainly. Through its answers little meaning, little reverency bore. For we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing a bird above his chamber door. Bird or beast sculptured bust above his chamber door with such a name as nevermore. But the raven, sitting lonely on the busted palace, spoke only that one word, as if his soul in one word he did outpour. Nothing further that he uttered, not a feather did he flutter, till I scarcely more than mutter. Other friends have flown before, on the morrow he will leave me, as my hopes have flown before. Then the bird said, Nevermore. Startled at the stillness broken by reply, so aptly spoken, Doubtless, said I, what is the utter 
It's only stock and store, caught from the some unhappy master who mercifully disaster, fold fast and followed faster till this his song is one burned bore, till this dirges of his hope and much lonely burden bore of nevermore. But the raven beguiling all my fancy into smiling, straight I wheeled a cushioned seat in front of the bird and busting door. Then upon the velvet sinking, I betook myself into linking, fancy unto fancy, thinking, What is this ominous bird of yore? What is this grim and gaily gas gaunt among this bird of yore? Meant when he croaked, Nevermore. This I sat eager and guessing, but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eyes were now burn into my bosom core. This and more I sat divining, with my head at ease reclining, on the cushion's velvet lining, that lamplight gloated o'er, whose velvet light lining with lamplight and gloated o'er, she shall press, ah, uh, nevermore. Then methought the air grew denser, perfume from an unseen censer, Swung by seraphim whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor. Wretch, I cried, thy God hath led thee. By these angels he hath sent thee. Respite, respite in the pent for thy memories of Lenore. Quaff, oh, quaff this kind of nepenthe, and forget this lost Lenore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil. Prophet still of bird or devil, whether tempter said or whether tempters tossed thee ashore, dislot yet all undented, on this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted, tell me truly I am poor, is there, is there blame of laden, tell me, tell me I am poor, quoth the raven, nevermore, prophet said I, thing of evil, prophet still of bird or devil, by the heaven that bends above us, by the God we both adore. Tell this soul with sorrow laden within the distant maiden, it shall class in saint and maiden whom the angels named Lenore. Class a rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Be that word our sign of parting, bird or fiend I streak up starting. Get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token of that lie thy soul has spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust above my door. Take thy beak from out my heart. Take thy form from off my door. Quoth the raven, nevermore. And the raven, never fitting, still is sitting, still is sitting. On the pallid bust of Pallas just above my chamber door, and his eyes have all the seemings of a demon that is dreaming, and the lamplight o'er him streaming throws a shadow on the floor, and my soul from out thy shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore.